Okay, this is chapter 15, um, numbers 17, 18, and 19. Um, I'm just, I'm just going to do really quick. Here we go. A dwarf with normal vision, so a man with dwarf with normal vision, uh, marries so dwarf with normal vision, normal vision, vision, marries, this is a man, marries um, a blind, blind, I'm going to abbreviate it, blind woman of normal height. So blind with um, normal height, and this is woman. Okay. Uh, the man's father was six feet tall, so man's father was okay. But then he, uh, unfortunately, he's, he's a dwarf here. And both of the woman's parents were of average height. This dwarfism is autosomal dominant. So if you have any dominant genes, so for example, autosomal, it's not sex linked. So let's say uh, capital D. If you have DD, okay, this, then you're dwarf. Sad, huh? Okay. And if you're, even if you're heterozygote, you're dwarf because it's dominant. Okay. So this is autosomal. And then red, green color blindness is X linked recessive. Okay. So when you have, if you're a boy, if you have, let me see, let, I'm just going to use a little B there. Oh, let's use N because normal N stuff so x to the little n y then you're blind if you're a girl you gotta have recessive genes so x to when you have both recessive gene you're blind okay so let's see how many of their daughters might be expected to be colorblind dwarfs okay so daughter will be so let's think about a man's genotype here a man dwarf okay would we'll worry about the autosomal later let's think about normal vision here okay that's that's easier because since that's man so he has xy normal vision since blindness is recessive he must have capital n right so that's his sex linked normal vision marries with a, a colorblind woman so colorblind woman she must have um little n's Okay, let's do Punnett square of this first. You could do it separately, it doesn't really matter. Okay, and then you could just combine those two. So, first one is a daughter, XX, with heterozygote. Okay, one big N, one little N. Again, so that's normal vision, right? Let's do the another daughter here. Same thing, it's heterozygote with big N, little N. So, all daughter will have what? normal right this is x this is boys so we don't worry about that because this is i'm doing um number 17 now so how many how many of their daughters might be expected to be colorblind dwarfs none they're all normal so 17 would be b all right let's move this out of the way and we'll do number 18. okay we'll do number 18. Let me erase what we have here. Number 18 says, what proportion of their sons would be color? Oh, let me get back. Oh, oopsie. Let's see. What proportions of their sons would be colorblind? So let's do the sons. We, it's YY. X to the little n. And then you have Y. X to the little n. You have Y. So all their sons have little n's right next uh, linked with the x chromosome okay so what is this little n represents what uh let me see not normal vision right colorblind so this is all colorblind right so 100 percent of their sons would be colorblind mm -hmm. But what about the um, heights? Okay, so we know that, all we know that right now is they're all blind, colorblinds. Let's figure out the um, autosomes. 
So his dad must be um, capital D D because it was dwarf, right? Or um, heterozygous D mm, because it's dwarf. Okay. But then remember, the man's dad, the man's father was six feet tall. So man's father was okay. Okay. So let's suppose the man's father was okay. So it's 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 a little recessive D D. Okay. Maybe he got capital D from his mom. His mom would have been either DD, um, homozygous dominant, or heterozygous, whatever that was. He he has he's he's a dwarf, so he must have gotten one big D from his mom. And since his dad was okay, he uh, his dad would have um would have had what is it homozygous recessive. So that means the man is heterozygous for dwarfism okay so we know that this isn't the case the man's genotype will be heterozygous okay so knowing that knowing that uh the woman's the woman was what the woman parents were of average height and um the woman is normal height so woman's autosome will be um, homozygous recessive because when you have capital D you have the dwarfism okay so let's cross that let's cross the man heterozygous with uh, the woman's um, homozygous res recessive okay when we do the Punnett square we have heterozygous um, we got we have the same thing down here we have homozygous recessive Okay, so remember when, when we did the um, sex linked, all 100% of their sons, uh, they were colorblind. So when we do uh, autosomal um, Punnett square, let's see, half of them, half of them will be dwarf and half of them will be normal, right? So colorblind are 100%, so we multiply the 100% is 1, right? Colorblind and being dwarfs, we being dwarf here is one half chance. So we multiply one half by one, which is half. So 17 will be, uh, 17 will be, no, se no, what am I doing? We're doing 18. What proportion of their sons would be colorblind and normal height? I'm sorry, so normal height would be this guy, still one half. So one half times one would be C. Okay. Let's move on to number 19. 19. Now they have a daughter who is dwarf with normal color vision. So again, being dwarf is one half chance. It has one half chance, right? So we have one half chance. And um, daughter, what, uh, what, what is the probability that he, she is heterozygous for both genes? Well, heterozygous is what? Being dwarf, heterozygous is 100% heterozygous. They, all, they were all heterozygous, right? Capital D and lowercase. So autosomal-wise, it was 100% all heterozygous. What about the sex-linked? Sex-linked-wise, as you can see, all the daughters, right? All the daughters are heterozygote. So autosomal wise, they were all heterozygote. So 100%, which is one times. And uh, sex linked, they're all 100% heterozygous. So one times one would be one. The answer is E. Okay. 